We start season two of Deep Space Nine, and it is so riveting that I'm going to give you the first two episodes in this video up next. Hello out there, I'm the oldest nerd. And the two episodes we're talking about are The Homecoming and The Circle. And it is a continuation of a story that was kind of begun at the last episode of last season, in which uh, we were introduced to Videk Wynn and Videk Barile. And uh, they are uh, both kind of in the running to be the next Kai. Now, um, apparently, uh, there is a conspiracy that's going on on Bajor. It is called The Circle. The Circle is a group of Bajor for Bajorans. Now, we have uh, encountered uh, various groups of people who are of that persuasion uh, throughout the first season of DF's 9. And... Uh, here and there that has uh, flared up, but has not been anything as organized as this. So um, the combination of that and the instability of the provisional Bajoran government has caused the circle to uh, continue to grow and amass more power. That's basically the story arc that we're going under for uh, for much of season two, and we see a turn of uh, Bajor that is um, disquieting, and how are they going to get out of it kind of thing. Now, uh, most of the first season was in defining the characters. We know more about Cisco. We know more about Jake. We know more about Bashir and Dax and Kira. And uh, now we're taking all of what we know about these people and we're putting it into uh, a situation. And uh, this situation is dire and it's going to take the combined talents of all of these people in order to keep the, I won't say status quo, but, but the progress going. Uh, Cisco is held back by the Prime Directive. They can't really do anything to help Bajor more than just uh, keep themselves safe and, uh, and uh, make sure that the wormhole is used on, uh, on an equitable basis. Uh, and then uh, there are the uh, various factions on Bajor, some of them who are essentially the good guys and some of them who are essentially the bad guys. In any kind of good Star Trek writing, the bad guys aren't really completely bad. They believe what they believe and are uh, thinking that what they are doing is for the best. And uh, that is where it's difficult to say this person is evil and that person is not. It is just a matter of point of view. And uh, we're getting an excellent um, theatrical showcase of just how to play that. The government official, uh, the Bajoran general, Lee, who is the new character, who was uh, uh, the person that started this whole story this season going, uh, who is a war hero and was a prisoner of war and would be uh, the natural leader of the new Bajoran government and is very much uh, loved by most of the Bajoran population, someone who could be a uniter, has been kind of uh, sidestepped by putting him in Kira's position on Deep Space Nine. And we're starting to see that by the second episode that there is a number of things that are uh, going to play in order for this power structure to work. And uh, how it comes out is not as interesting as how they're going about it. And that's what makes this so uh, much a, um, an interesting thing to follow. We're, of course, on the side of Kira 
and Burial were much on the side, of course, of Cisco. But what I can say is that the acting is powerful. Uh, you really want to despise the people, and not because they're doing the mustache twirling uh, or the uh, uh, maniacal laugh, but but more of, uh, wow, they're good. I wish they weren't so good uh, in getting things the way they want them. And our heroes having to basically have one hand tied behind their back while they're resisting what they think is wrong. And we kind of know at this point that things are going to get a little better, but not all better. And the drama in this is something that you can cut with a knife, and I think that uh, is uh, a result of excellent writing and excellent acting. So, season two of Deep Space Nine, it's one not to miss. Uh, the Homecoming and The Circle start us out today. And uh, it is continuing out of this. We still don't know how this arc is going, but uh, we will keep up on it and let you know next week. Meanwhile, tomorrow we have the original series. We're into season three of that, and uh, it's a hit or miss. We'll see what goes there. And then, of course, on Thursday, we will still have... Uh, Babylon 5 and Lower Decks. So, uh, hope you'll stay tuned to this channel and subscribe and like and please make comments below. Uh, I thank you and until next time, don't go far. <laughs>